y'all and welcome to today's video. We are going to be swatching and creating some looks with the new Bella Beauté Bar Smoky Glam Palette. Look at this. This is cool tones, beautiful pinky mauves, some grays, a little bit of olive thrown in here. We have mattes, shimmers, multi-chrome, dual chrome. We have all, all the things in this palette. This palette is about the same size as their pastel garden palette that I've reviewed here on my channel. We've got a nice big mirror, beautiful packaging. We're going to swatch it. We're going to create some looks. I'm going to give you my thoughts on this palette. Let's jump into it. <music> here we have the smoky glam palette from bella beauté bar now the brand did gift this to me this is launching on may 12th at 12 noon eastern time i will put that in the description box so that you can check it out if you are curious i do have an affiliate code with the brand it's heather if you want to save you don't have to use it but i like to let y'all know when i have codes and that will also be in the description box so looking at this palette this is large lots of beautiful shades but i think smoky glam is like the perfect name for this palette looking at this i feel like date night vibes bridal vibes very pretty smoky glam type of looks so let me show you a close-up and swatches of this palette this has 24 buttery mattes four duochrome shimmers a multi-chrome shimmer five metallics one shimmer and one matte with sparkle so I just swatched these on my arm so that you can see how they all swatch out. I tried to get uh, the swatches in different lighting for y'all so that you could kind of see how these look. So far, I've only swatched it. I haven't put this on the eyes, but I do have several Bella Beauté Bar palettes. I am not just an affiliate, but I have been a customer as well, and I really, really like their stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to test this palette out. I think we're going to create three looks so that we can really see how these shades apply, if they blend well, if they layer well, all of that. Today, though, I'm going to create a look on each eye. So I'm going to zoom y'all in. I'm going to put down a primer and I actually almost forgot. I have their new Shimmer Stay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. They sent this over and I'm excited to try it. I have not used this on the eyes, but I did kind of swatch it on the back of my hand. So I think we'll use this as a base for our shimmers. See if it's that type of like sticky shimmer primer that I like. So we'll play with that too. But right now I'm going to put down my normal eyeshadow base. Zoom y'all in and we'll create. Okay, so I went ahead and put down my Sigma Ignite eyeshadow primer over here on this eye. We are going to do two different eye looks. I really want to show you some looks with this palette, and I want to play with a lot of shades too. This is a large palette, so for me to test it out and tell y'all what I think of it, I really want to play with these shades. So what I think I'm going to start with is platinum princess i like that name this kind of gray color right down here at the bottom i'm picking this shade up with my blinged brush and i'm going to put this kind of all in my crease and i think we're gonna do some type of like halo eye spotlight eye something like that where we kind of do a dark inner corner a dark outer corner and then we put a shimmer right in the center i think that's going to be pretty and this shade is really pretty it's a light matte shade but this is beautiful i think this is going to be a really pretty blending color for me and then i think if you have a lighter skin tone than i do you're really going to like this one as well because it's pigmented, it's showing up, but it's not super dark. Okay, next I wanna grab this brush from my Sigma Favorite set and go into the shade Overcast. So it, it's this type of like really, really muted olive color. I really like that we have this olivey tone in this palette. 
I think it's going to give some versatility to this and just just a cool like very cool toned olive definitely not on the warm side almost a gray with a green undertone but you see I'm just putting that right there on the inner part of the lid and crease and then I'm going to do the same thing on the outer I'm not really going to blend right in here in the center because we're going to cover that up with the shimmer anyways I'm just making sure I blend out in here like this just slowly slowly going back and forth with my brush making sure I don't have any harsh lines and then I'm also going to really blend it out here in this outer corner and I'm also going to take just a little bit of this shade and lightly brush it under this lower lash line just kind of messily nothing precise i just want this to be super duper blown out okay i'm gonna grab this brush from my sigma favorite set and we're gonna go into this shade right here called bombshell i'm gonna pick this up on my brush and then i am going to spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray after i have the shadow Okay, so I've got my brush and I'm going to kind of put this right in the center here. So I'm going to press this on like this, but I'm not taking it out and I'm not taking it too far in. It's going to stay kind of in the center right here. Really, really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to take the same brush and I want to go in to a little bit of smoked out this deep, dark, like black type of color. And I don't want to take this up as high as we took that other matte, but I do want to use it lightly, lightly, lightly to deepen up right in here, just right in here and just right in here. So just keeping a little bit of depth, but not covering up that whole, what was that shade called? Overcast. But it's just gonna give us even a little more dimension. And you can see now, right in here, I have several, what is that, two or three matte shades layered on top of one another. And I'm still not having any trouble, still getting pigment still easy to blend so that definitely makes me very happy all right now i'm gonna grab this angled brush from blinged brushes and i'm gonna go into the shade mystery whoops this one way down here at the bottom i'm gonna pick this up on the angled brush and i just want to put this on the lower lash line i'm not going to bring it down as low as we did that other shade I'm gonna keep it a lot closer to the lashes. So I'm gonna be careful just pressing, pressing that on just like that. Okay, for the inner corner, we are gonna do matte white. I wanna keep the only shimmer on this eye right there center of the lid. So I'm gonna go into the shade Lace and I am going to put this on my inner corner. All right, just going to put that there. We're going to have something matte. And then I will do liner and a lash, but I want to do the other eye first. So this is look number one. I do have just a little bit of fallout. Let me brush that away. But this is look number one for us. I really like this. I feel like it has these cool silvery black and olivey tones to it but overall very cool toned neutral i feel like it looks nice everything was easy to blend no issues whatsoever very i, I like this look okay let me put on eye primer over here on this eye and we will create another one 
Okay, for this look, I put on the Sigma eyeshadow base, but this time I chose the shade Persuade, which has a little bit more of a pinky tone. Of course, you can always use whatever eyeshadow primer you like best. I'm just playing around with the different ones with this palette, ones that I know I really like. So I want to kind of start with a deep shade and then buff it out to lighter, since over here we kind of started light first. I just want to play with this palette. So so I think what I'm going to do is start with this kind of deeper mid-tone right here called Icon. All right, this is another brush from my Sigma set. And you can see I'm picking up the shadow and I'm pressing it all into the socket. I'm not going to blend first. I'll blend in just a minute. Right now, I just want to press, press press it on like this and then I will slowly blend but I'm kind of putting this in the socket above the socket below the socket and then right out here in this outer corner I'm going to kind of press this shade here too down to the lash line and then I'm going to blend a little bit but I'm not going to worry about blending too much because I'm going to pull in a second shade just to help us kind of get that blend going. Okay, I'm grabbing this Sigma brush. This is just a pencil brush. This was one of their like Cinderella collection brushes, but it's just their pencil brush. And I want to go into Silk Teddy. So this shade, I really want to put at the lower lash line. So I'm just going to press this at the lower lash line. So I'm going to press it on first because I want it to be kind of dramatic and then I'm going to lightly blend it back and forth. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this really pretty light pink color called a Powder Puff. I'm gonna take this, this is a brush from a Sigma set. I'm gonna pick up some of this and I'm going to kind of start right out here and then I'm just going to kind of buff and blend and I'm going to blend this under the lower lash line as well. So I'm really kind of wrapping this shade like this and just blending back and forth. I'm not putting down a lot of pressure on my lid. I'm not picking up a lot of shadow. I'm just going to dip back in the pan as I need to because I don't want to pick up too much shadow and then have to try to take some away. So I'm just going to take my time and lightly blend in with this shade. All right, now we're going to go in with our shimmer shades and we're going to work with three of these shades. I want to go in with Velvet Crush. This shade has a really pretty shift to it, almost to like this purpley grape color. Then you turn it and it's almost like this raspberry type of shade. It looks like it has some like blue shimmer in there. Really beautiful. We have another like shade right here that goes from like a rose gold to like a purpley gold and then we're also going to play with this shade right here called imagine that has this pinky purpley blue to it like these are all really pretty shades with some shift so we're going to do velvet crush playful and then we'll kind of end our look with imagine but over here, you know, I didn't put down any special shimmer base, anything like that. I just kind of sprayed my brush after I picked up the shadow. But I do want to test out the Shimmer Stay Eyeshadow Primer Potion from the brand. I'm going to just take it. It has a doe foot like this, so you could definitely go on top of your eye if you want to. I don't want any of the powder shadows that I have down already to kind of contaminate this tube. So I'm just going to take this brush. This is a really old Nabla brush and I'm going to put some of this potion on the brush and then I'm going to put this on the lid. Okay, so I'm going to lay down that potion. I'm not going to cover up the matte in the outer corner. I want that to stay matte, but otherwise I'm going to put it all over the lid kind of up to the socket. I don't know how fast this dries, so I'm gonna grab my blinged brush. I'm gonna go right into the shade Velvet Crush. This one looks so sparkly. And I'm going to pack this on the center of my lid. 
And then I've got this BK Beauty brush, and I'm going to go in to the shade Playful, and this is going to go on the inner portion of my lid. So I'm going to put both of these shades kind of side by side. You can see I'm starting off by pressing the shadow on top of that kind of primer potion, and then once I have it pressed on, then I'll go back and blend with both shades. I just kind of like to use the powder to set any kind of like tacky base that I have and then blend it. Okay, now we're gonna highlight the inner corner. So this was a bling brush, this was a BK Beauty brush. I'll link the brushes down below, but I'm gonna go into Imagine, that really pretty like pink, purple, blue shade, and we're gonna do a sparkly inner corner. And you can see it looks blue, and then I kinda turn and it looks lavender and that's like no it's kind of pink so this is going to be really pretty now we did two totally different kind of like eye looks shapes shadow placement but i like both of these looks for different reasons i do want to throw on eyeliner i want to put on a mascara and then i'll come back we'll see how everything kind of comes together all right y'all here is the first look and here is the second look. I am really into both of these. I do wanna tell you what is on like some of the rest of my face, the color products I used. I did put on black liquid liner, black in my waterline. I used my Unearthly Cosmetics Supernatural Lash to kind of pull these two looks together. I, on my lips, I have on one size lip liner in code word. My lipstick is these L'Oreal Color Riche Matte lipsticks. I don't know the official name. I'll link it down below though with everything else. Uh, this is shade 143. My lip gloss is Half Magic Beauty. I love, love these Half Magic glosses. This is Magic Drip. And let's see, oh blush, 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 blush. I have on Bare Cheeks from Blend Bunny. A lot of indie makeup today. I have on this shade right here, this beautiful pinky shade. And then for highlight, I have on my Bella Beauté Bar Oracle Chrome Highlighter Palette. One of my favorite colorful highlighter palettes. So that's that. That's kind of like the lips and cheeks that I have on. The lash. I really enjoyed creating both of these looks with this palette. The mattes, very easy to build and blend. They layered well, they buffed out well, no issues whatsoever. I mean, you could see while I was applying them, that's why I love like swatching shadows, talking through things, applying things with y'all so y'all can kind of not just hear the experience I'm having with the shadow, but also see. You can see me packing the shades on, blending the shades in. I think these shimmers are beautiful. There's some really pretty reflect in here. I'm sure you can see kind of how the light hits. Just really, really pretty. So I'm super into these looks, but I do want to create a third look for y'all. So here is one last look at look number one look number two, and then we will move in to look number three. Hello, we are back for look number three. Now I'm gonna prime my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot in Lay In Low. We used the Sigma Eye Primers yesterday, so I wanna play with a different primer today. And I'm gonna start off with the shade High Heels. And then after that, I think I'm gonna move it to this deep dark brown here called Nocturnal. Okay, so I've got that shade High Heels on this brush from my Sigma set. And I'm really going to put this kind of right in the socket. I'm gonna pack it on first to get that pigment down and then I'm just going to blend it back and forth. I'm not worried about bringing it out here because for that, I'm gonna go in with that deeper shade. Okay, I feel like that's looking really pretty. Very easy to blend, pigmented. I'm gonna grab this blinged brush and go into Nocturnal. Now I'm not gonna pick up too much because I don't want this shade to be too intense actually. So I'm gonna put it at the lash line and then up and out. And then I'm slowly going to blend. And I'm just using a little bit at a time because I know these mattes 
are very easy to blend and build up and I want to keep it nice and blended so I'm just gonna go around buffing like this okay I'm happy with how this is looking very soft very blown out but now I'm gonna go in for the lower lash line I'm gonna use this matte black with sparkle I love a matte with sparkle. I think it's such a fun formula. You can pack it on and really get that sparkle or you can kind of buff some of it away if you wanna use it more for like blending. But we're gonna use this black onyx and then I'm going to go in with whisper as well. Okay, I've got this shade black onyx on this angled blinged brush and I'm really going to make a line under my lower lashes. So I'm just kind of pressing it on just like that. And then once I have that on, I'm going to press a little bit more right here. And once I have that on, I'm going to go to this bling brush. I'm going to go into the shade Whisper. Now this one's pretty dense. I'm going to put this right underneath that black and I'm going to kind of buff and bring this whisper shade underneath the black. And then when I get it blended how I like it, I'm gonna go and kind of make sure I don't have a harsh line there and that these two shades blend well together so that we have like black fading out to this really pretty kind of cool toned mauve. Okay, I actually used a little bit of cuddles on the lower lash line too i was blending adding shadow my dog ran in here i got distracted and i was like oh i used cuddles so i kind of used a mixture of these two to buff out the lower lash line but for the upper lid i'm going to go in with this shade right here called angel eyes this is a beautiful like pink to kind of pearly gold type of shift shade it looks really really sparkly so i'm going to put this all over my lid and then right just a little we're going to do just a tiny 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 bit of satin sheets i really want to do a look where i use like these four shades right here to do a dark dramatic like smoky eye with the purple lid I think I'm gonna have to do that my next date night or something that could be really pretty but right now I'm gonna focus on angel eyes with a little bit of satin sheets I'm gonna prime the lid with the Bella Beauté Bar Shimmer Stay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I tried this for the first time in the first two looks. I didn't have any creasing and nothing like that throughout the rest of my day. The shadows stayed looking really good. So we could have a winner here on our hands. Let me just put some of this on the lid. Okay, I'm gonna look down into my mirror and I'm gonna take angel eyes and really pack that all where I put that shadow potion all kind of over the lid except for in this outer part now right now I'm packing it on so just pressing the shadow from my brush onto that potion and then I'm going to blend in a minute to make sure I get in all my little crinkles but I want to go in with that deeper satin sheets shade first. So that brush I used was a blinged brush and now I'm going to use another blinged brush. Again, looking down into the mirror and this is just going to go right here. No more than that. I want to keep it kind of small and it's going to go from like that brighter angel eye shade to this purpley satin sheet sparkle shade and then we're going to end with that dark brown matte that we put on earlier so I'm just going to press it like this and then I'm going to kind of blend once I feel like I have that that um, primer potion down and then I'm going to do the same thing here I'll kind of blend in here and what I'm also going to do is go back with that brush that we used with the dark brown matte at the beginning and make sure I have a nice blend. So it's gonna come around like this. And then I think the only other thing I'm gonna do for this look is to add a pop on the inner corner. So let me see. I've been wanting to use this shade right here, Milk Bath. This, 
this is pretty this is very sparkly very intense really really beautiful so i'm going to pick that up i'm going to put that on the inner corner i'm not going to wet my brush spray my brush put down any primer anything like that i'm just going to take this on this like small but fluffy blinged brush and i'm going to kind of sweep that right there in the inner corner and I think we're going to skip falsies today. I'm just going to put on some mascara. I'm not going to put on any liner on my upper lash line. But I'm going to put a little something something in the lower waterline. And then I will come back. We'll see how this look came together. And I want to talk to you about my thoughts on this palette overall. Alright y'all, this is the finished look. I just added a little black to my waterline. And then I put on my new Fenty mascara. But I amped it up with some of my tried and true Melt Supernatural Lash. So this is the finished eye look. Now I've been testing out this new MAC Matte Sunstruck Bronzer. So I'm wearing that today. For blush, I'm wearing this one from Kaleidos. I don't know the shade name. It's not on here, so I'll put it in the description box. I'm wearing Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in Hibiscus. And then for highlighter, once again, I'm wearing the Oracle Chrome Highlighter Palette from Bella Beauté Bar. I'm so happy I bought this palette. I've used it so much. Okay, let's talk about Smoky Glam Palette. So definitely did not use every single shade in this palette on these three looks. But I used a lot, and I have to say, the formula in here, beautiful. I feel like the same formulas in here are in the Pastel Garden palette that I have reviewed. I have, I think, five looks now on my channel with that one. Love it. Same size, same format, really, really beautiful. I feel like when I first saw this palette, I was like, oh, a neutral palette, pretty. But then I'm like, you know, it's really some beautiful cool tones. Yes, we have some neutrals, but overall we have a lot of really romantic pink, berry, mauve type tones. I like the inclusion of this more like orangey peach. I like that we have some kind of gray tones that are leaning a little bit olive and undertone. We have some nice browns and blacks. Really, really beautiful. I'm excited to use this again. Like I said, I'm really thinking my next date night with my husband I'm gonna like stick over here and do like a deep dramatic smoky eye I think that will be pretty but I really like the eye look I have on today I'm excited to wear it the rest of my day I have a lot of things that I've got to do a lot of running around to do but I'm excited about this palette thank you so much for watching even if you're not interested in this palette maybe you're on a low buy a no buy maybe you're not even into makeup I really appreciate you being here I hope you had fun hanging out with me if you are interested in this palette I will leave the launch date the time my code a link all of that will be in the description box for you along with the other products that I talked about but I hope you're having a great day Please Please subscribe. I have lots of videos coming for y'all and I will see you then. Bye.